And you think enemies are like evil doers are out to get you? Your ops. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Wally. Wally, like the robot or yeah. like the walrus in front no, of you? No, Molly. Molly and Eva. And this here is Frank dressed up. Only three things that matter in life. Do you know what they are? Sports. Christmas, the Eagles, and Wawa. Wawa. And he's I'm Wawa. He's repping all three. Santa Claus. I'm Wawa Lee. He's repping Santa Claus, the Eagles. Um, you know, Christmas season is upon us. Eagles are twelve and one, easy. And Wawa is just the greatest, um, the greatest place in the world. I don't know. Is it disagreement? Yeah. Are, are we? I'm over it. I'm over it too. I'm over it. But are we just used to it? Well, that's how you can get over it. I mean, has it, it gotten overrated, or have we gotten spoiled? I uh, think both. Okay, so I think both. Okay, so. When it started, it was an improvement to the corner stores that we had in the neighborhood. Yes. And it, it, it was so much more because we had like hoagie shops and then we had little convenience stores, you know, and the candy store yeah. and you had um, whatever. And that was awesome. And it was like, this is so different. This is so great. It's open 24 hours. It has the ordering. Um, and to say, oh, we're, we're used to it now. You're not supposed to let your customer base get used to things. They're supposed to keep adding, what? Now they have this. What? Now say, they have you that. You say that. I think the exact opposite. I think when they first opened, yeah. same thing. It was an improvement on what you already had. Right. And so you'd go there and it's like, wait, I can get real quick in and out, gas, a sandwich, and a bag of chips. Not gas. gas like, okay, that was new. But that, you see the old that ones, they still don't have that gas stations. That was good. And that was a good improvement. Yeah, it was. And- they, they, you know, they had they had Amoroso rolls. Sort of, it was a good improvement, but it also makes it more busy. They had Amoroso rolls. Yes, and, and like you could get a good oh, a Wawa hoagie was a hoagie, a hoagie. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was like, and that's what made. Like, I feel like that's what got the the culture. You know, yeah. FTC. Yeah, for the culture, and it was like we you've made a convenient a Philadelphia convenience store. That twenty four hours. I mean. When you realize what time, like it would be like six forty-five, and you yeah. knew you knew that hoagie place was closing at seven, you were like, "Oh my god!" And you would run to the store, and then the person would say, "We already cleaned the machine." Hey, we're not slicing no more meat, pal. <laughs> That's what they say. I know. And uh, so, so this was fantastic. It was fantastic. It was like, you. It was the Wawa hoagie. Mm-hmm. To your point, they're like, you're like, oh, you always need to improve. I think their improvement was their downfall, right? Like, they. Oh, now we have. Um, now now you can get burritos. You can get burrito bowls. You can get smoothies. Oh, look at this. We're coming out with fries and burgers. Why not? And it's like, you can't be the best. At, all of a sudden, the Amoroso rolls are gone. Yeah. The hoagies are, are subpar. They're terrible. It's, they, they've expanded so much. And then when, at what point do you just turn into? Right now, it feels like a global place. It feels just like a 7-Eleven. Like, yeah, it does feel like a 7-Eleven. And... I know that's what they had to do mm-hmm. to get Did bigger. They? To get bigger. No, no, that's not to get bigger. Yeah, well, yeah, to get bigger. To make money. Yeah, they, well, they to, make to money, make money to get bigger. Mm-hmm. It's like, at, like there was a there was a golden period where you felt like you could, you'd ride for Wawa. Oh, people say Wawa is not that great. Right. This is this is my yeah. this is my city convenience store. Yeah. I feel no ownership over Wawa now. No. It's like it's like Rita's. You know, Rita's was sold yeah. as well. And and so yeah, and like and just like and, a, a, yeah. And their sizes got smaller. And a sweet stuff. Sh- a sweet um shop. I don't know. I used to I used to feel like your know, Wawa had my back and I have theirs. I don't, <laughs> I don't think. I never felt that great about Wawa, but you never felt like I had your back back in the day when they still had like the two foot <laughs> hoagies. My back. Your back. Like they had your back. Like. When you needed them at, at two in the morning, they yeah. were there for you. Okay. And yeah. when when they needed you, they needed you to tell an out of towner that they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Wow, was it's great not gas station yeah. food? Yeah. yeah. Um, the improvement I like. So for the old shops, I said if you still could see the old shops, they don't have the gas station. No. Um, and now when you look at them, you think, yeah, like you're so small, and I don't like you. If the gas station's good. The bathroom is what I really like. Ah, well, you know, you flush your post over here. Uh, yeah, you, you, you. The bathroom is very important. Um, 
if you go into a Wawa now and, you know, you just look for the sign that says restroom. Yeah. And if there isn't one, you're like, close down right now. What's the point? Like, close down. I would rather you have a bathroom than even sell sandwiches. Yeah. So they have the the other impro- the improvement. It's not an improvement, but it's a different is the check out yourself. Uh, well, that's just in a few in select stores. It's it's in a few select stores and people are afraid to use them just like they used know, to be afraid to use love. The you know online what? ordering. I love because uh, you can always get it. People are afraid to use them. They are. I don't know if they're afraid to use them or they're buying cigarettes or what. No, they're but, afraid to use them. But I, you walk in, you see a big old line. Yeah. I'm talking big old line. Yeah. And you see just two And you think all those people are buying cigarettes? green lights above them. Yeah. And you're like, uh, excuse me, pardon me. And I, I know they're all watching me. Too, I know. So I kind of like. And it's like, bump. You know, they sound oh, bump. Yeah. Bump. And, and you're like, oh, I'm done. I, I purposely try <laughs> go to go as quickly as I, I can. I know, me too. I go. Because mind yeah. you, I used to work at Wawa. Right. So I mean, uh, scanning barcodes right. ain't, ain't new to me. Yeah. Not not in Wawa. And so I scan, scan, scan. And I I try to check out before even who's at the cash register. Yeah. Check. They're waiting. They hear the change dispersing. Da, 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 da. No. I'm gone. Yeah. And I just turn around. I go. I'm gone. I say, see you, line. Yeah. The worst is if it jams or something. And then you're like. Never happened to me once. I've seen it happen to other people. Yeah. But I, I also try to go as fast as I can in Giant. The soup, the food supermarket, not because, not because I want to get out fast, but because yeah, it's like a like a video game, like it's a yeah. challenge. If I can hit the buttons before she talks, you know, I go fast in Giants um, self checkout too, especially if there's a line. Mm-hmm. Not because I feel the pressure of the people behind me, because I kind of want to show everyone. That's true too. Lead by example. When when you're because when you're next up and you're watching, I know you wonder. Yeah. What world did you grow up on I know. that you can go this slow i know like that you can just look at it and like and you, it's not the first time you're there if it's walmart it's the food market whatever no. we're talking about cash out yourself um machines I, right uh, yes it's it's not your first time i often wonder that i often it's not wonder, your first time oh or talk about lines just like anyone you're ordering food and the person in front of you and there's like a whole menu there and they get up to the line they're like hmm and they're, they're thinking and they're just right. going so... And they really start making conversation. It's like, how in your own world do you have to be? Yeah, I know. Listen, I... Uh, I... I uh, I lost my train of thought because of the phone. Okay. Uh, it's going to come back. Um, people have to know what they're doing. Uh, that's not it. How are you older? Okay. It's the Lines, more you, the more you try to get it, the more you lose in it. in front of you. Is just talking and scanning the menu that's been the same menu that's been up there since you got into the line. Yeah. Um, you know why? Because I have two thoughts in my head and they're they're, they're combating. <sighs> the one is so Avalon uh, works at a hotel and I and she she was talking about sometimes people call and like sh- they drive her crazy, and so I was like, let me be the best caller the next time I yeah. call. So what do you want me to do? And I I said you don't want me to. Um, I'm guessing you don't want small talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and she's like, well, she's like, I think I'm different because I I love small. She loves like dad jokes. You know, tell me you're coming in for your, your your daughter's wedding. Like I don't care. She likes that. But but she did say what you're saying, and I think it's kind of unfair. She said like the people who were like, so what's in a double room? Yeah. No, I can't say that. Now, does water come out of the spigot in the same? Yeah. No. <laughs> Because I, I was just so I was watching the Eagles game mm-hmm. over at the local parlor, and um, there is a food truck right down the street, mm-hmm. and I went on halftime. You know, fifteen minutes, and it, it, so I, I walk park and did gravel lot. I'm walking up. Of course, a family beats me to it. Mm-hmm. Family of like six. I'm like, how long could it possibly take? And they're there, and like the menu is just is right there, yeah. and then it's like. So like, uh, what are your vegan options? And like, you see a line starting to build behind yeah. you, and then it's like a salad. It's like, okay, um, asking the kids like, right. so what do you want? And it's like grilled. Even the kid, you know what? It, it must be taught because the kids like, does the grilled cheese come with one or two? I, and I know the girl who's working, mm-hmm. and she's like, one. It's cut in half. He's like, okay. And then on top of everything, the lady afterwards. Starts going on a spiel of, you know, you should really invest in some more vegan options because not everyone does dairy, especially now. And like, mind you, with a little tood. Mm-hmm. And the girl's 
Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you can eat the salad, but is there? But um, okay. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? That's so and funny. You're holding up a line, mm. and then and then she's like, "Okay, um, it says coffee." Oh, that's the other thing she said. It says hot coffee here, and then coffee there. She's like, "Yeah, well, that one can be iced." And it's like, "But there's coffee and two, they're the same coffee." Like things like why? I know why. I know why. And that's what. And that's- and that's what she was saying and um you know you used to get a lot of a lot of tips and cur- and not, you know in, um that from customers when you were like 15 years old yeah you know and so uh for avalon you know she said uh she she doesn't like when people say huh well those prices have gone up since the last time i've been there and it's like again where do you live yeah that this is the only place that is, is- <laughs> That is advertising that for you. Like, how about like other stuff you buy? Has it gone up? Like, no. and you know what? I, I really think, and I know this is a Christian podcast, and I, I do love everyone, but I really think these people, the a lot of the problem has come from the fact that the customer is always right mentality. But, but you know, for so long, like for so long, where people yeah. feel entitled to have these opinions, and it's like, well, those are the prices. And yeah. guess what? You know, the worst part about it is. If more people stood strong and said, there's no vegan options, that's it. Let's fit. Oh my God. You're saying exactly what Avalon said. Avalon said, if you were going to badger me, first of all, I'm not the one making the prices, but if you're going to badger me about the price of the room, how much it costs, that doesn't seem right. And then you pay for it. And then you pay for it. That's why the prices are what they are. Like if I, if I went to a, a, a smoothie king and I say, can I get one medium smoothie? And they say, yeah, that's going to be $50. Right. I would say whoa that's right. ridiculous i cannot right n- n- rightfully in my mind pay for that right and, and then that at, would get to the boss enough, yeah the, the boss is like why, why are we you, not sold it's right because like, they're 50 dollars. right if i'm gonna say seven dollars oh why are you are you charging seven dollars right. i can make this at my house for three all oh, meanwhile i'm taking out my wallet and like right. scanning my car you're gonna take their complaint to your boss people, and you're gonna say people charge what people pay for people aren't yep well the, what the market will bear but with all of that said people have to know what they're doing now there's a, i'll give you another part where it doesn't go um avalon again she'll be the star of our show like sierra was last week um Avalon said that there was an older female uh, presenting person uh, in the airport and she was proudly walking with her bottle of water through security. Yeah. And so, of course, it held up. You know, it was like, halt, who goes there? What are you doing? Of course, you can't have. And so Avalon was like, where are you from? Where have you been yeah. that you think you can carry yeah. water through the security? Now. I said, but you could use to carry water through the security. Yeah. And she, Avalon was like, you could? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. Before 9-11, you could walk in with your coffee cup or your, your orange juice or whatever. So she was mad because she thought, where have you been? But pr- maybe never, not flying. Yeah. But flying's way different than going to Walmart or the supermarket. Yeah. You know? I don't know. There's like two things. Like one, I feel like there's a certain set, uh, amount of like social etiquette that like you should realize that the world doesn't revolve you around yeah, you. And yeah, it's like yeah. when you're at these, con- like if obviously, of course, like there's certain places where you can question and you can uh, be concerned, but in certain situations, it's like, like at like a, a food truck, like we are at a food truck. Like, yeah. The, like, they have every right to say, I don't know. Do you see anything vegan? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that might seem rude, but it's like this ent- entitlement of, Oh no, 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 they, they can wait. So veganism is getting really big. And, like, give, <laughs> it's not like it, I know. I'm just. And you know what? I think the exciting part of it is maybe if I was among these folk, I wouldn't mind. I think part of the frustration, what folk? the folk who just have no sense outside of themselves. You or know like, what? I agree because, you know, I was just thinking that today. You know, the Meghan Markle show is out. Meghan and Harry. We remember what you were saying. Yeah, I'll remember yeah. it. Oh, I was shaking my head at Meghan Markle. I oh, wouldn't. right. And, 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 and she's kind of wildly unpopular now yeah especially after this came out yeah yeah i guess but i mean like you'll get people who like her but like so many people don't like her and and for not not for taking harry yeah not for being black not for any other reason <laughs> she's just not like she's not likable she's not yeah. likable but i was thinking of megan today and i thought she doesn't care 
she wakes up every morning proud to be yeah. Meghan Markle. Yeah. And she lives her whole life. Yeah. And she doesn't even it's like it's not even like, well, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna look. It's like she'll look. Yeah. Eh, eh, bad reviews. So Yeah. I would love to be that person. No, a hundred <laughs> I mean, ignorance is bliss. And and <laughs> it's that mentality that one makes her unlikable and two makes her do what she does. Her like, own life, yeah. I, I often think about it with block in the box. Not, I, I, I Explain. Some, some of my political beliefs, I don't believe in the death penalty. S- but some people don't live in urban uh, areas. Okay. Uh, it's not even blo- yeah, so if you live in a, in a highly congested place, at every intersection, there's an imaginary box. Usually that will be with crosswalks too, right? Like So you don't want to block pedestrians walking. But also, there's this idea that especially during rush hour, not always will the cars ahead of you at the Clear stoplight out, yeah. be able to keep moving forward. Yeah. So if you continue to drive on a green light, you will be blocking the intersection. Yeah. Now, the etiquette of driving, I also think legally, yeah. if you do not have room to fully cross, right. to have your tires past the intersection, your back tires, you cannot cross. Stay back. You, you stay might back. miss that green, but you got to stay back. It's like as if it's a red. It's right. like the same way a red light means don't go. That means don't go. It's it, it allows everything to run smoothly. The the and completely fair because completely fair. Yeah, one of us is going to miss, and so if you block now, you've just stopped all the traffic, the yeah. cross traffic. So you know if I'm at if I'm at the red light mm-hmm. and I and I see and one I'm very good at it, like very good at it. I, I make a point of it, and you'll see that there's not cars going. And it's just these cars that think they're doing something, think they're saving time in their commute. I know. And will just like, as soon as the, the car in front of them goes, they go. And now their light turns orange, red. They're just sitting there. Right. And like, then they'll be like, oh, what happened? Yeah, I thought we were going. And I get this fire in me. Mm. And I'm like, I want them to know how, because now none of this traffic can go I know. when it's clear ahead of us. And there's this fire in me. And I'm like, in in one hand, I'm like, I want them to know they're the worst person <laughs> as a lesson. Yeah. As a lesson to not do it. Like, yeah. Because I know if it was me, and I like, I probably blocked the box once. And the sheer panic being like. I know. And then you try to like. Yeah. Scooch on. Yeah. Over. I know. You're like on the guy's bumper. <laughs> I know. Like, you, you kind of go sideways. like. So it probably told me one time. Yeah. To be like, I'm not blocking the box again. Right. Like, I, I can't. And then, like, so I, I think that, and I'm like, let me just like pull up and like, uh, like, kind of show them, like, look what I have to do because you did this. And then I think, is it is it the first the, time? The reason why they they went across is because they don't care. It's, oh, because they don't care. I thought you were saying it, they were they were they were like the lady with the water bottle. They were like, I, I, I didn't know. No, I mean like, they might do that, but mm-hmm. it's in the sense of like, oh, what happened? No, I know, it, but it, I was it, wondering if it was a truly person. Yeah, no, it's but, probably rare. Yeah. But it's like it's it's the same person that's like oh so you're saying when you when you make a a, a, um, a little display of your displeasure they don't care they don't care yeah it's like no they, it's they, nice it, people it, it's or even like I said if they act like they do care they act like it, they were born yesterday just like they act every time like yeah if same if you yell at someone for taking too long it's like oh sorry I, I didn't realize it's like yeah. yeah but you did yeah and you you, you blocked the box because of the type of person you are not because of circumstance. Okay, I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. When I'm in line, especially it's Christmas time, everybody. Christmas. If you're shopping for clothes, yeah. okay? And you're not going to go home with the hangers. You don't go home with the hangers. I don't know where you would shop where you would be able to go home with the hangers. I feel like I've gone home with the hangers before. No, no you never go home with hangers, Spencer. Really? Did you buy like a very expensive suit or something? I don't know. They threw hang- They threw the clothes in the hat and they just went like that and put it in your bag. Or you walked out with it over your shoulder. No, I guess you're right. Okay, so you might be oblivious. You might be a block boxer at a at his clothes store without even knowing it. I might be. Take the stuff off the hanger. Take it off the hanger. It's Christmas lines. We're all waiting in line. We're all waiting in line for like, you know, say 10 minutes or something. What do you do with the hangers once they're off? Just hold them. How many? How much clothes did you, you buy? hand them to them? Yeah. Hand it to them. Okay. When you're in line and you got all Is that why clothes? the TJ Maxx line takes so long? Because they're taking off each hanger? Yeah. I've, also, in my defense, I want to say... I've never bought in more yeah. than three articles of yeah, clothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. like, it's there are people that have a cart, and yeah. I can imagine. And this is the thing: how much time does it save? A few seconds? I don't know. But like, when people are waiting and it's really hot, and you yeah. have on a winter coat, and you're like, oh, just every little second counts. Instead of the people who you just waited in the same line, you waited for twelve minutes. Yeah. It's your turn at the cash register, and it becomes 
Oh. Yeah. In your cart. Here. Yeah. Here. This is on sale, right? Okay. Yeah. It's no, like, no. I, come on. I, I absolutely. I mean, and, and that's, help the person out. There it, you go. It, it, it sort of goes back to my original, my, my original menu story. Yeah. It's like I'm not talking about if you're the only person in the restaurant. Yeah. The cashier like, ask all the questions in the world. Right. If you're in a line, you like read the room. The, the, like, I, I just feel like there's just like they're just like, uh, and then all yeah. of a sudden after a, a five minute wait, it's like. Yeah. Oh, what does the menu say? Right. It's like, if you're in the line, ask your kid what do they want. Like, right. Be ready. The right. same way at a restaurant. It's like when the when the waitress comes up, it's like be or it's like uh, usually it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, if, right. I know it's fine, but it's like you're not then gonna decide. Oh no, wait right here. Um, let me look. No, don't go anywhere. It's like that's the same idea when you're at a place. Like if you have that time, that's yeah. why the waitress gives you. I'll give you a few minutes. Yeah. And she goes away. Use the line as that time. Also, in days of internet, you can look up the menu beforehand. Yeah. And I, and I will finish it with this, and then I'll give you this Bible verse. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we got to balance this out. I was at a, I like this Chick-fil-A. First of all, Chick-fil-A always gets good talk, points. Talk about uh, Wawa getting worse. Chick-fil-A just gets better. Chick-fil-A, right? This is the one by Derek, which I've already complimented them before. But the other day I was in line. Oh, you weren't here. I was going to get it um, for the people coming back from England. They came back. They're back from England. And uh, they went at Chick-fil-A. And anyway, I'm in the line and um, there was a big white, like a church van in front of me. And he, he, he or she was taking a long time at the drive through And I thought, ah, I'm behind them. But I wasn't too really pressed about it. And it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was extra long that I was it's waiting. It Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but they go. That was McDonald's. You might as well just park. Yeah. So they go. And, you know, like I said, a little bit of a wait. And it's like a double drive through So we kind of even merged. And it, and they go. And um at the window and I saw some bags being passed forth. and then it's my turn and I pull up and um, I go to give her my card and she goes no no it's on us today sorry for the wait and I was like no problem yeah wow Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A knows how to do it and you think they lost any money in their, in their, in their but guess what you're going to be a repeat customer right because what if I said I was in that line for so yeah. long I'm never going there, back there, to that there's line. a McDonald's drive through that's closest to my house I refuse to go to why right couple of bad times that you waited right. forever at the window yeah but that chick-fil-a you just you, she said you'll you'll pass chick-fil-a to go to that one <laughs> yeah and no, guess really. what you'll spend more money there yeah they do it right think about that think about that all right guys it is walk through thursday um short one today let's uh, roll the intro please welcome back hope you're having fun because walk through wednesday just begun What's going on, guys? It is Walkthrough Thursday. I won't give you the whole spiel about it because we've had so many videos. Just look at the we playlist. <laughs> we open up the Bible. We read one Bible verse and we just walk through it. Sentence by sentence. Line by line. Word by word. Letter by letter. Let's get into it. We're reading out of the book of Psalms. My favorite book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, songs and written by David and a few others. Um, so this is Psalm 5.8. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies... Make your way straight before me. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. So I found this. Make um, your way straight before me. I may, I found this um this one interesting because uh, lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. Make your way straight before me. This is oft report all at all used a lot yes. in the Bible. It makes sense. It's easy. You could say that nice little prayer, uh, lead me Lord in your righteousness, make your way straight before me. The part that I find very interesting is because of my enemies. What do you mean? Why am I bringing them into it? And why, and why are we bringing them into it? Like because of my enemies, because of my, enemies. so I was, I said to myself, I said, I'll ask Spencer what he thinks of, uh, these four words and why they had to be sandwiched in between the regular little prayer piece psalm. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. Okay, so lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, right? Like Lord, right? You know, you know that. It's yeah. Like, uh, lead, lead me the right way. It's in the it's in it's in the twenty third psalm. Lead yes. me the path of righteousness. Make your way straight before me. We always talk about like the path of life, right? And the turns and, and everybody stuff. wants direction yeah and so I, I i think personally because of my enemies it's all of the things in life that lead you astray mm. right like so we always talk about sin and how we say sin doesn't condemn you the problem with sin is it all pulls you away from god distraction, and, yeah, yeah. It's distraction yeah. from god right and so like 
make my, I think make my way straight is especially when you think of like the path of life. Like straight is boom boom, and it's like a you know a kid in a, in a candy shop where you know it's like or it, you know ADD and um where you're like you're like oh, I'm walking I'm walking oh what is this and you, you start getting right. distracted and stuff and by by my enemies it's like people I think enemies can also just be a sort of overarching term of mm-hmm. doesn't have to be actual people yeah but i also like enemies because i think he brings us um or david and the psalms especially bring up the term enemies a lot okay and you think enemies are like evil doers are out to get you your ops <laughs> exactly and um in a way you know if you're living a spiritual life if you're on a path and enemies is anything that gets in the way of that right like yeah if, if you're against me you're my enemy and contributing so I, to my downfall I, I don't think it's meant to seem so vicious as mm-hmm. an enemy okay I, I think it's meant to be like any anything pulling me off my path is you treat it like, like if you treat it like an enemy it's you want to stay away from it like you don't you don't like and uh, you know where it's like oh uh, um if someone is making you do bad things you're like that's not really your friend, right? Right, like, right. You'll hear that, but it's harder to, to say the word enemy. But when you word it like that, yeah, it kind of just clarifies, like mm-hmm. anything contributing, yeah, to because uh, right, like if if you're if you're trying to live a righteous life and, and right. follow God, your path interrupting is, that your path is straight, and so why wouldn't it be straight? Yeah, because of my like because of these things in life, these distractions. Yeah, that's good because if we do think of the twenty third Psalm and it says you know, paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So God is like, well, I have this set up for you. Yeah. This is saying, uh, well, it, now it's th- making me think of the Our Father, uh, which used to be, lead me not into temptation, but now it is, let me not fall into temptation. Yeah. Um, so these enemies could be uh, willfully disrupting you, but you could also be tempted to follow your enemies. Yeah. Um, and also, you know what? It's funny enough. The first ever walk through Thursdays we did was on the twenty third Psalm. Okay. And um, w- uh, what's the one the one verse? Uh, s- seat me at a table in the presence of my enemies. Yes. And prepare a tip. Yeah, prepare, prepare a, tip. a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah. And so, it's funny because at the t- even at the time that we kind of got caught up on that part. We're like, right. We're like, why, why do they have to why be there? Why are we sitting at a table of your enemies? <laughs> right. But if we hearken, if we use our knowledge of this verse right. and say the enemies aren't your enemies, it's the people that are pulling you off of the path of God. They're not bad people. Right. They're just enemies to your mission. Right. They're enemies to your your um, your journey. Mm. And so you want to be like to seat me at a table of the people that are that are try, that are you know, willfully pulling away. It's like you don't want them. You know, to be cast uh, away. It's right. Like there, you you want to be sitting with your with your cup runneth over. And right. Then, and that's also you know we always talk about the best part of a overflowing cup is you can share it. Right. And so you know once you get to this goal, those enemies aren't your enemy. They're just yeah. I think the best way to put it is they're an enemy enemy to your journey. Yeah. The um the ideal not an ideal but I mean an ideal way to avoid enemies or distractions is to be you know a monk in seclusion and be alone yeah. solitary a man on the mountain which is not true for hardly anyone yeah. so you are surrounded by society and school and family and neighborhood and prison and hospital like wherever you are you're probably surrounded by so many people so to to not acknowledge to just be like you know it's an ideal it's yeah. you and me god i have my focus you know i'm not pointing at frank <laughs> Pointing to heaven uh, is not reality. Yeah, and there's also a certain you know when you put enemies right, like, and I know that sounds like like I said negative and stuff, but it's also like make my path straight. Like I want to be in your righteousness because of my enemies. Like there's also this idea that every time, even if it's not just like a distraction, if it's like someone going against something you believe in and stuff, yeah, it's like, you want to stop and fight them. You you want to if someone's on the other side of the political line, you want to tell them why they're wrong. True, it's like make you my want path, to comment on the kind internet. It's of like mm-hmm. give me blinders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're right. My enemies are here, and I and I want to fight. You know the people in line or or the people blocking that are the that box. are blocking the box. It's like <laughs> you want to like stop yeah. and, and say 
you are wrong. Right. And I, and I want to tell you why you're wrong. And right. this is like sort of like, Lord, I want to be in your righteousness because of my enemies. Like, please just make right. my line straight. Like, right. Literally like horse blinders. Like, right, right. My enemies are there. And, and the longer I dwell on correcting all humanity is the less I am taking the journey towards your righteousness. And that's it. There's an Irish um, saying. It's like, I can't remember it right now, but it's something like. May the road rise to meet you. Well, that wouldn't go with word of the day which is enemies it seems um and it's something like give my enemies lots of enemies or let me be friends with my enemies enemies so if, if your enemies has a lot of enemies you don't have to worry about it because they're they got other people looking out for them yeah. <laughs> coming for them hate is going hate all right guys that is our podcast come back tomorrow for fun friday fantastic friday dr seuss friday uh peace don't block the box